All governments lie. Good evening, I'm Anne Marie Lipinski. I'm the curator of the Neiman Foundation for Journalism here at Harvard, and I'm very, very pleased to welcome you to um, the annual awarding of the IF Stone Prize for, independent, for journalistic independence. Not only did Stone believe that all governments lie, he also wrote, every government is run by liars, and nothing they say should be believed. Isidore Feinstein Stone, Izzy to his friends and readers, did not equivocate. His strong views about the nature of power and the watchdog role of journalism fueled a passion that first gripped him as a teenager and later guided his legendary IF Stones Weekly. He had worked in the mainstream press, but the chilling effect of McCarthyism and his own iconoclastic nature led him in 1953 to launch the muckraking one-man independent newsletter, which fellow journalists ranked number 16 in a poll of the top 100 works of journalism in all of the 20th century. We are very honored at Neiman to administer this prize in the name of such a courageous journalist, and we thank Izzy's son Jeremy for making this possible. We are also so indebted to Stone's daughter Celia, who is with us tonight to celebrate her father and his work. Um, I talked to her a little bit ago and she said, I've been channeling Izzy all day. I want him to know good things are going on. Before we move to making the awards, I do want to caution against mistaking I.F. Stone's legacy as somehow anachronistic, a word he himself used in his writings. What I did not imagine as a schoolgirl reading of his lone warrior-like investigations, what none of us could have anticipated really, was that along with muckraking, he was also pioneering a new journalistic model something not just independent of the halls of power, but of the business conventions of news gathering. Listen to something he wrote and see if you don't find in his words the formation of a now familiar model, a roadmap that would lead you to many of the journalists you read today, innovators who live online and not in print, but whose independence and direct relationship with and service to readers is reminiscent of his own approach to publishing. He wrote, in this age of corporation men, I am an independent capitalist, the owner of my own enterprise, subject to neither mortgager or broker, factor or patron. In an age when young men setting out on a career of journalism must find their niche in some huge newspaper or magazine combine, I am a wholly independent newspaper man, standing alone, without organizational or party backing, beholden to no one but my good readers. I am even one up on Benjamin Franklin. I do not accept advertising. <laughs> Tonight we welcome two members of the Stone Prize Committee to present the awards. First will be Myra McPherson presenting the Lifetime Achievement Award. Myra, a longtime Washington Post reporter, is the author of several books, including the biography all Governments Lie, The Life and Times of Rebel Journalist, I.F. Stone. And next will be Bill Kovich to present the I.F. Stone Medal. Bill was my Neiman curator when I was a fellow and someone to whom I'm extraordinarily grateful for very many things, including his chairing of the Stone Prize Committee. And in Bill, we have a direct connection to Izzy. They were friends. And if you were lucky enough to be a reporter of Bill's, uh, when he ran the New York Times Washington Bureau, you would have been treated to master classes of the two of them in conversation about the biggest stories of the day. I wish I could have been there. After the presentations, we will convene the winners for a conversation with Tom Ashbrook. You all know Tom as the very gifted radio host of On Point, but we are also proud to claim him as a Neiman Fellow and are very, very grateful for his time and skill this <coughs> evening. Um, as we do these days, uh, hashtag Neiman, N-I-E-M-A-N, I before E except before Marcus. And um, please join me in welcoming Myra McPherson. <laughs> 